One of the hardest parts of setting up your Google business profile is the video verification. So in this video, we're going to quickly break down what you need to do to make sure you're ready to verify your video, the evidence you need to gather first, and then how to record the video. Let's get into it by looking at an example of how to record a video for my business. All right, so the video starts off and I point the phone at the street sign and then at the mailbox where you can see the uh, numbers for the house. There is no numbers on the house, which I know might seem weird. As you can see here, I have the key out and I'm going to unlock the door, which proved to be a harder task than I thought it would be. Then here we are, I'm just going straight upstairs to my office, which may or may not also be my bedroom. Then the first thing I'm going to show is marketing. So we got the coffee cup, we got the stickers, and we got the business cards, and then I show a tax document, which has my EIN, and it also clearly states my name on it. And then I also have a bank statement here, which has the same address that I just showed them. And then I'm gonna get on the computer, I'm gonna show them that I have access to unlock the computer with my fingerprint, you could just use a, uh, code here and then I'm gonna go into the back end of my website and I'm showing them that this is thencandesigns.com and then it shows me in the back end and then I'm also going to go over to the bank I'm going to click login and then you can see the bank account and you can see it's my business all right, so now you've seen how the video works, but how did we get to that step? How do we make sure we're doing it right? Well, let's break it down really simply, three steps. First, we're gonna go over the background knowledge that you need to know. The second thing is you're gonna gather evidence, and the third thing you're gonna do is actually record the video, okay? Are you ready? Let's get into this. Now, before we get started, I wanna mention our Google Business Profile Masterclass. It's actually gonna come out after this. So if you're watching this video in the future, I should be able to look up in one of the corners. I'm gonna look up in this corner. I'm gonna look up in this corner. I'll figure that out eventually. And you should see a link to that video. Um, and if it's not out yet, make sure you sign up for YourSmallBizSEOSuccess.com. Link in the description, YourSmallBizSEOSuccess.com so that way you'll be notified as soon as that masterclass comes out, which again should be shortly. But if you're watching this video right when it comes out, you won't see it yet because that video is coming out after this. But we have a Google Business Profile Masterclass where I go way in depth on how to set up your Google Business Profile, especially if you're a small business owner. So you're going to want to check out that video. I'll cover a lot of these topics in more detail. So let's just hit the bullet points really fast. First and foremost, you want to make sure you're eligible to have a Google Business Profile. Quick summary, if you have a physical location, you're good to go. If you're a service-based business that serves customers at their location or a neutral location, even if you work from home, you're good to go. And if you're a hybrid business that has a physical location and serves customers at their location, you are good to go. However, if you are an online only business, you probably can't get a Google business profile. Again, head over toward the masterclass where we dig into this topic way more. The next thing is the business title. Now, again, I go into this way more in the masterclass, but basically make sure that your business title and your Google business profile is your legal business name, but you don't have to include like the LLC. And don't try to stuff any keywords in there unless you have a DBA to do that or it's in your logo. Got it? Another really important factor is your address. Make sure it's your actual physical address. Now, if you have a location, this is going to be easy, right? But if you're a service area business and you don't have a physical location or say you work from home, this may seem like you want to try to game the system. Don't do that. Do not put a PO box, do not put a co-working space, that will get you flagged and will make it so your profile will never get verified. Don't do that. Just put your home address, you'll be able to hide it later. That's exactly what I did. Next is service areas. If you are a service area based business or a hybrid business, you wanna keep your service area close. If you put the entire United States, 
Google might question you a little bit. So keep it within a two hour driving radius. That's what I would recommend. Radius, not diameter. So think about that. And we wanna make sure our data is accurate. So that includes your phone number. So if you're using a call forwarding system, you may wanna turn it off during this time while you verify. And also your hours. Make sure on your website that that information is accurate. When you fill in your business description as a part of your Google business profile, make sure you don't put your phone number in there and also don't put any promos in there. That's not the right place to put that. You actually want to make that an offer post and you can use that to kind of help boost your Google business profile. Again, go to the masterclass, lots of details on that. The last thing you want to do is check all of your online citations. Are they in line? You do not want to have, say, your Yelp page pointing to a different address when you're trying to get your Google business profile verified. So just quickly go through your website your Google business profile, your Yelp, your Facebook, all the things that could potentially have your address, your phone number, and the name of your business, and make sure they're as lined up as possible. This is a good local SEO tactic anyway. Might as well make sure things are in check. All right, now the background is checked. Now, number two, we wanna get our evidence collected. So when you saw me in the video, I had kind of a pile of, well, it looks like crap, but it was a pile of evidence that I own the business, Ben Can Designs. And so you're going to wanna do that for your business. Now, a lot of other businesses will have things like equipment and other things like that. And so I wanna go through all the evidence that you might be able to collect for your business. First and foremost is your proof of location and service area businesses listen up because you need to do this too. You'll notice in my video, I just unlocked the door to my house and that's okay because that is where you do your business. The first thing you wanna do is you pretty much wanna start your video recording the street sign and then on your way into the house or your building, you're going to try to show the address. In my video, I actually had to show the mailbox because we don't have the numbers on our house for some reason, uh, but hopefully that was enough for them to see that that house address matches up with the address that I'm putting as the address behind the scenes. If you have a physical location, be sure to show your signage as well. And either way, on your way in, if you have a company vehicle or if your company vehicle is your main part of your business, you're probably going to want to just go to the company vehicle at that point. But if you're a service area business, you're still going to want to show that you can open the door and then you'll probably turn around and go to the vehicle. Got it? A big step is proving that you are management or specifically the owner. And that has to do with unlocking doors, using equipment that only people that are owners would be able to do. And so think about it for your business, what are the things that you can do? For me, it was pretty much just software and that's okay if that's your only option. That's why I showed me logging into the bank, logging into my website, which is kind of the hub of my business, right? So if you can do things like that, logging into your accounting software, that's a good tool that you can use. Also, if there's any equipment you need a key to use, it would be good for you to show you using that. One example that I'm thinking of off the top of my head is a friend of mine where she has a cleaning business where she cleans other people's houses or also businesses. She doesn't have a lot of branding on her stuff, so that could be hard, but if you just simply explain, this is my car, it doesn't have any branding on it, but this is the car I use, and then you take the key and unlock the trunk with it to show that you are the owner of the car, then show the cleaning equipment, that's probably all they'll need to see to be able to verify the Google business profile. One other thing you can do if you have a cash register is just run like a no sale or something like that to show that you have access to uh, payment processing. So that's a big one that's showing up as showing proof. Last but not least are documents. Documents that can show that you own the business. The easiest way to do this is tax documents, bank statements, and utility bills. But you wanna make sure that those documents have your name on it, and they also have the address that you're located at. So I'm really talking to people that have home-based businesses, make sure it's your address on there and not a PO box. So that way everything stays lined up. You don't want to confuse Google in the process. I will say one thing that I should have included in all of that stuff was one, I should have showed my face during the video at some point, and I could have also included my driver's license. So that way they can verify that I am me. And so there's a good chance that my video still, even with all the planning I did, would have got rejected because I didn't show who was actually taking the video. So it shows you that these videos are hard to get approved. A few other documents that you can include are marketing materials, so anything that has your branding on it, including business cards. It could be as simple as that if you're just getting started. And also invoices that have your business name and your address on it. Also, if you have any products or equipment that do have branding on it, that would be good to also show. 
All right, so you know that you qualify for a Google Business Profile, maybe you even watch that masterclass I keep talking about, and then you collected your evidence. It's time to record your video. What do we do? Well, before we even hit record, you have to make sure you actually change the settings on your phone. Isn't this annoying? <laughs> um, on Right now, you should be seeing a video of how to do it on an iPhone. You go to settings, you search for camera, you don't click the first one because that's privacy, you click the second one, and then you change the recording settings down to 720p instead of 1080 because if you record in 1080, which is actually what I recorded on on the first video you saw, the file size is too big. It will never, unless you make like a 30 second video and good luck showing all the things they wanna see in that amount of time, it'll never work. It's pretty annoying. So reduce the file size and you still only get like a minute 50 seconds. So you gotta be quick. And so the biggest thing I can say in this step is rehearse. You're probably gonna have to do it multiple times. I did it twice and I still don't think it was good enough because I didn't include my ID. So if I were to do it again, that's what I would do. Luckily I'm verified, so I'm not going to. Make sure on your device that your location settings are turned on because Google needs to verify that you're actually at the spot that you say you're at. So make sure you do that at some point. Now you should be seeing me going from the Google Maps app on my iPhone to a Google business profile that I manage and going through the steps to actually get to the point where you get to record the video. So this, I think, is the fastest way to do it. You can also do it on a mobile browser by just searching for my business, getting to your Google business profile and clicking verify, just like you can see at this point in the video. And then it's time to record. Now, before you get to this point, you may have some extra videos left over. So a lot of tutorials out there are recommending you delete any old videos. So if you have those, go ahead and wipe those out. And now, now you're ready to record. All right, that's it. You record the video, you send it off to Google, and you pray. You pray and you pray and you pray. I will say that I've had clients that have actually had success with just reaching out to Google and explaining how they're having a hard time. I see also a lot of people saying they're not getting any success by reaching out to Google. But you know what? I say it's worth it. I've talked to Google on several occasions and they've actually been pretty responsive. They've helped me solve a Google business profile suspension on a Friday by Monday. That's pretty good service in my opinion. So while a lot of people are having trouble with this, all the rules are on Google's websites and there's just not a lot of content out there to help people with this step because it's kind of one and done. So I wanted to make sure I took a moment to really sit down and explain how do you get your Google business profile verified by video in 2024, especially if you're a small business and especially if you're a service area business because it might be confusing. How do I show that I own my house when I don't own my house? So in summary, you wanna make sure that you definitely qualify for a Google business profile, that you have the evidence that you need to show that you are the owner of your business, and last but not least, you wanna take your time, rehearse a couple times, and then record that Google business profile verification video. Because the faster you get your Google business profile verified, the faster your potential customers will be able to see your Google business profile out there in the world. If you get stuck with any of this, please, I highly recommend you head down to the comments below, leave a comment and tell me what's going on and I'll see if I can work it out with you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you found this useful and you want more videos like this and also smash that like button so that way it helps the algorithm rise it to the top. And last but not least, if you have a small business that's struggling with local SEO and you need some help, just some guidance on what to do next, head over to thencandesigns.com slash review and I'll give you three actionable items that your small business can do right now to help it grow in 2024. Again, that's thencandesigns.com slash review. Link is in the description. And again, be sure to check out that Goop Business Profile Masterclass coming out soon, or maybe it's out right now.